Hey, what's happening everybody? I am coming to you live from the beautiful beach of Santa Barbara. In case you haven't seen the Pacific Ocean before in action, here it is. That guy's down there getting some snacks. Believe it or not, so Southern California normally does not get weather like it is now. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Those of you who are new to the Periscope format, like me, the more hearts you click, I guess it helps get the, the video boosted and you can click as many hearts as you want. It's not like an Instagram or something where you only get one or two. Anyways, here we are and Santa Barbara now usually has the perfect climate year round, which means it's usually about 75 degrees, never humid. It is 84, 85 right now and it is humid. I'm out at the beach and it feels like I'm in the Caribbean or something like that. I mean, people are down there. Oh, thank you for all the hearts. People are down here sweating, people are in the water. And a lot of times people complain about how cold the water is here. It is so unbelievably hot that you get in the water and it feels like bath water. Okay, that is not normal for the Pacific Ocean this time of year. There is something spectacular going on. So again, for those of you just hopping on, you can check out where I'm at here. Oh, oh, a little insider thing, a little insider thing for those of you who will be joining me in Santa Barbara for Unlock Your Greatness next month, check this out. This beach is directly across from where we're gonna be holding Unlock Your Greatness. That building you just saw is where we'll be doing it at. So if you're still on the cusp about coming, how would you like to have your lunch break over here? You just hop across the street. Anyways, let me cut to the chase and what I wanted to talk with you all about today. First and foremost is I think it's so important to make a point of enjoying life. Taking a few minutes from your day, taking a break from whatever it is you're doing, get outside and enjoy. You know, if you don't have the Pacific in your backyard, and I understand I'm, I'm a little spoiled, I'm a little, I got it, I have this as a benefit, right? And even if you don't have that, you can still find something to do. Uh, whenever I go into a city or something like that, what I will do, thank you everybody for the hearts. Whatever I'll do when I'm in a city is I'll find some place where there's a park or where there's a lot of trees or there's a nice garden. And I will spend a few minutes there every day just to kind of help get my mind right. Okay, just to help me, remind me of it. It puts me, for me, it puts me in a place of gratitude. Okay, so that's something important to do. The other thing what I want to talk with you guys about is sunrise and sunset day this weekend. Okay, it is happening on Saturday. I just did an interview earlier with Ian Entertainment. I'm doing one with our local news, Santa Barbara News, tomorrow. It's starting to get some traction, guys. We have built this up to where it's now becoming a more internationally recognized event. And this is only our second year doing it. Okay, so for those of you who have done it before, you know how awesome it was. Those of you who are new to it, you guys, this is such a cool event. Let me tell you, last year we had over 3,000 people from all over the world, all seven continents, even Antarctica, posting photos of the sunrise and sunset. Okay, and so what we did is I took all these photos and I downloaded them, put them into a video, which I just posted on the Thousand Challenge page last night. And it was the most amazing experience to get to watch the world and watch the sunrise and sunset around the world. And that's what I, I really wanna share with this is, is it's a celebration, right, for my dear friend Paul's birthday. It's a fundraiser for Reach Out Worldwide and it's also a way for us to come together and just share the world together to share what our backyard's like, to share some of the beauty in your world. And it doesn't matter if you don't have Santa Barbara as your background. If it's cloudy, if it's foggy, anybody who's watched the video, you know I put all the pictures in. I put a variety of pictures, the overcast ones, the foggy ones, they all have a purpose. Okay, because I'm gonna use them to tell a narrative. Now, most importantly with this is the whole donating to Reach Out Worldwide part of it. First and foremost, if you don't wanna support Reach Out Worldwide, if you have another charity, that's totally fine. The idea about this is just to give a little bit, okay? Give a little bit. And whether it's to reach out worldwide or if it's another charity of your choice, that's awesome. Sometimes people think that to donate, to support a charity, you have to spend a bunch of money. That's not the case at all. You guys, last year we raised over $50,000. And those are just the people who use the link that I have that Reach Out Worldwide set up for me, for my thing. So a lot of people just went on the website, bought merchandise, bought everything. That's awesome. And that does, that's not gonna count to the one million for row total, but that still goes to Reach Out Worldwide. If you want to be a part of this part of it and have your, have your contribution count towards the overall goal of getting one million for row on mine, you gotta use the link that I provided, okay? And like I said, last year we, had, we raised over $50,000 and that was with something like 1,500, 1,600 people donating, okay? 
So think about that. That math works out to where it's, it's average of maybe like 26 bucks a person. People aren't emptying out their piggy gowns. They're not giving thousands of dollars. They're giving what they can and it all adds up. When I spoke to Reach Out Worldwide after that, they told me that the amount of money we raised helped fund their next deployment they did. That means we were able to fundraise enough to play for plane tickets, to pay for medical supplies, to pay for all the food, everything they took over to their deployment spot, and it was all covered. Now, for a nonprofit, is that impor important? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you guys, you all created that. You guys all made it possible through your support and your donations. Okay, so I wanted to spend some time with you all just to remind you of how what a cool event this is and just to ask you to be a part of it, ask you to include your friends, your family members. So many of you have been so great and so gracious about sharing it, helping get the word out there. And I, and you know, from my heart, everybody, thank you so much. This is something that, this event means more to me than just about anything because, you know, Paul is my very best friend. I love the guy dearly. I miss him every day. As it gets closer to the actual event, I spent, gosh, 20 minutes today just in full, like, snot sobbing, convulsing tears because I miss him so much. You know, this, this whole thing makes it so real. And it also makes me feel closer to him. And so I appreciate that that you guys are doing this and helping me to keep his legacy alive in the way that I think it's important too. So there will be links that will be posted on the 1000 Challenge page and the event page. You guys can start making your donations now if you like. And if you do it, do it through the link. What I ask is two things. One, when you make a donation, take a screenshot of your donation page. You do not have to include the amount. Put the screenshot in and then share it on your social media. Share it on your social media with the hashtags I've recommended and a link back to it, so that way people will know what to do, what it's about, and they can go back and do the same thing. Two, when you take your photo of a sunrise, a sunset, or both, please upload that directly to the 1000 Challenge Facebook page. That's www.facebook.com slash one year 1000 challenge. And if you would be so kind, please note where it's from. You can put the country, you can put the state, you can put the city, please at the very minimum put the country, this just helps me sort it all out. Okay, you guys, last year there was over 3,000 photos. It's a lot for me to keep track of. So please, please, please make it as simple as possible. Oh, and an extra big thanks. Some of you were on there before me and were looking at them. I appreciate so much those of you who caught it when somebody hadn't appropriately labeled it. Just sending a note on there and saying, hey, be sure to label your photo. Be sure to say where this is from. You guys help me stay better organized. So if you see somebody that didn't label it, just send them a nice note and say, hey, can you make sure you label it? Because it makes my copying and pasting so much easier. All right, that's all I have for now. Just one last quick look at Santa Barbara. Again, unlock your greatness. We're gonna be right over there. This means this is your beach for the event. And thanks so much, you guys, for the time. Make sure you make the time to go out and enjoy life today. Thanks for all the hearts. I'll upload this video later on YouTube so you have friends that want to watch it, pass it on to them. And I look forward to enjoying the weekend and enjoying sunrise and sunset around the world day with you guys this weekend. All right, take care everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.